I'm Hannah and welcome to my kitchen. You guys get to see me in rare form right now because I just woke up. I'm still in my pajamas and I haven't even gotten ready. But that is because we're having a little party today for Wyatt, for everyone to meet Wyatt five months after the fact. That's kind of where we're at right now, five months after having my baby, I'm having my baby shower. But anyway, my mom's hosting it and she said, Hannah, under no circumstance are you going to cook anything. And I said, please, Mom, I can make these dishes in my sleep. So here I am making my little contribution to the party. I'm going to take one of my favorite recipes from this book. It's called Chinese Takeout on a Stick. I think I've made it before for a video, but this one is going to be converted into an appetizer for a party. So what I'm going to do right now is marinate my chicken. I'm going to make the marinade, get the chicken diced and put in there, and then I'm going to go get ready, get the boys ready, make sure my husband looks nice. And then I'm going to come back and finish up the cookie part of this recipe. So the marinade is very simple. It's soy sauce, sesame oil, ginger, and brown sugar. It calls for red pepper flakes, but I'm not going to do that. But first, what I did, I want to show you what I did with these little skewers. I bought these bamboo skewers. These are long skewers, and I just cut them with scissors to little uh, individual size portions. You have to soak these in water if you're going to cook with these or put them in the oven or put them on the grill because they will char and burn, disintegrate if you don't soak them in water. And they are really dirty. If you wash them and then dump the water out and look at it, it's dirty. So you want to rinse these off and wash these. So these are soaking while I do the rest. I'm actually more than tripling this recipe because it calls for one pound of um, boneless, skinless chicken breast and I'm using three and a half because we have about 36 guests. So I have about 60 skewers in here. This is just going to be one of the appetizers, and I'll show you how I present it. It's going to look really good. I'm going to put in 10 tablespoons of soy sauce. Now this recipe also calls for broccoli on the skewers. I am mixing the broccoli. Now I'm going to do 10 teaspoons of sesame oil. I'm going to do 13 or 14 teaspoons of brown sugar. If you don't have brown sugar, another great sweetener for this marinade is honey. Now it calls for two garlic cloves mince. I did about five tablespoons because this minced garlic in the jar is not as pungent as a fresh garlic clove. Now I need 10 teaspoons of minced fresh ginger root. And what I do for that is I take my fresh ginger root, all you have to do is peel it with a knife. It doesn't have to be perfect. I'm just going to grate it straight into my marinade. I'm going to stir this up and get the brown sugar melted and incorporated. Also, save this marinade for any time you're making any sort of Asian dish. It's a great sauce for a stir fry. It's great on salmon. It's really delicious on beef. I'm going to take my three pounds of chicken breast. I'm going to dice these pretty small. I'm going to do about one inch cubes. I'm going to stir it around to make sure that all the pieces of chicken get coated. Then all I'm going to do is cover this and refrigerate it while I get ready. These are all ready to be skewered. I'm going to start out with about two or three per skewer and see how many I get out of that. I have a pan that I've just lined with foil. My oven is set to broil. These are going to go in for 10 to 15 minutes. After about seven minutes, I'm going to flip each of them over so they get brown on both sides. And typically, you would reserve a little bit of your marinade to baste them while you're baking, but I'm actually going to serve these with a dipping sauce because it looks really cute for an appetizer. So we're going to make that while these are baking. As you can see, I have my cute little platter to serve this and a little bowl in the center to dip. With skewers, it looks really cute if you arrange them all around the dipping sauce in the center. So I'm going to make a soy honey dipping sauce. It's very similar to our marinade. I'm going to put it in this jar though because we're taking it with us. I'm going to put in about fourth a cup of soy sauce and I'm going to put in about three tablespoons of honey and then just kind of shake it up a little bit. I'm Hannah 